there yeah yep so this morning we left Mudgy in the rain oh trying to get this sign and we're gonna die in the rain and we thought well we're not gonna let the rain stop us need to have a good look around so we've come to Pensioners Hill Reserve and there's apparently a lookout here and heritage sculptures well, let's go and have a look okay oh you found one. oh they're the totem poles John I've got information about those Let's have a look at the sign. There's supposed to be five poles. There's, there's more, only there's three. There. There's two more down there. Oh, there is two right down the back there. Okay. The second group of five poles has a central storyteller explaining Aboriginal beliefs to members of his community utilising the four other poles set to the north, south, east, west of the central pole. Righto. Well, there you go. John wanted an umbrella. Come on, we'll just get wet. It's cold. It's not cold. See, you should have a long sleeve shirt on. I don't have a long sleeve shirt. Oh, we've got shirt. arrows. Where are you friggin' soaking? Pensioners Hill walking track. Enjoy the native plants. Oh, it stops right there. <laughs> and the arrow takes us to... A toilet. It's it's something. A, to a toilet? What do you yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, rain's coming down heavier now. We'll just wait for John to get back with the umbrellas. So this one here is the Red Chief. This is the most famous Aboriginal of the period before European settlement. He was the legendary chief Gumbu Ganeira, also known as Red Kangaroo, whose story was popularised by novelist, goodness, Ion Idris in the book The Red Chief. Okay. Cool. This illustrates a coal miner labouring underground pushing a skip loaded with coal. That illustrates a coal miner, John. So that. Okay. These are little wagons. In memory of the late Stephen Tractor Rennick. They've seen better days. They have, haven't they? They've actually got um, more sculpting on the back. This is on the back of that coal miner. There's a snake going around it. See? This is the pioneer woman. The early settlers brought their wives and children to the Gunnidar district. The pioneer woman, as depicted on this stone, suffered great hardship, facing a harsh environment, loneliness and isolation. Despite the social restrictions of their time, they all left, taste, they all left la a lasting mark on this land. Okay. What are you looking like that for, John? Looking like what? You're making some, faces. I want some hot chips. I know, that'll be nice, hey? We might go and find some hot chips next. Yeah. Okay. Put that seed in your head before, didn't I? <laughs> when I said I want fish and chips. The cold is killing me, just like the heat was. And yet, no, look. I'm just whinging. Okay, no, it's not that bad. okay. Look at John, everyone. This is he whinging about the cold. That's how John wears his clothes all year round. You never see him in long pants unless he desperately has to. Don't pick on me. We went to a wedding the other day and he wore a good shirt with long sleeves and long pants. And that killed me. And you've got to do another wedding yet. 
<laughs> okay, get more moving. Okay. Next one. We've got a ram. What the hell is that? Oh, a cow. It's a cow. All right, where's that one on my list? This is called agriculture. The early settlers bought what their flocks think? of sheep onto the rich grazing <laughs> lands of the Liverpool Plains. What the hell did you say? Nothing. A cow is your what? What did you say? I said your friend. Yeah, I've got lots of cow friends. All right, let's keep walking up this hill. Elsa Iston, 1892 to 1986. Who's she? Her charitable work Ooh. providing food and clothing to the district. Barbecue area. Wow. So this must be Pensioners Hill Lookout up here. Why do they call it Pensioners Hill Lookout? I don't know. Do I you, actually don't know. Do you get a discount when you come up here? <laughs> Pensioners Hill is bound by Farrow Road, the Oxley Highway and portions of Both Whistle Road and Lloyd Road. It became known as Pensioners Hill during the Great Depression years, although destitute families may have put up their tent all humpy on this hill during the 18, 1890s Depression. Many certainly had to reside on this hill in the Great Depression in the 1930s. But there you go, that's why it's called there, Pensioners there Hill. Go. It's a really nice area to have your barbecue and stuff at. It'd be a really nice place to come, like just for a picnic or something, though. It would. In summer, and then we'd be whinging about how hot it is. How hot it yeah, is? Yeah, we'd be whinging about how hot it is. We would be. Because obviously well, you people think we're a pack of whinges by now. We whinge a lot. You whinge a lot. You Everybody do. take we do. You're whinging about the weather. <laughs> Oops. Seriously, hey people, we sit inside with the air conditioner on. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't even have air conditioning. Yeah, we've even got it in the caravan. So next we're going to try to find the um, silo art. Yep. Yep. This is really nice here. Then we're going to see... I'm sure Gunny Dar's got some sort of supermarket. Yeah. And then we'll find you some hot chips. Hot chippies. Hot chippies. Yeah, Pensioners Hill Lookout. It's quite pretty. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Located in Barber Street at Gunny Dar is the solo art with... can't remember her name now. <laughs> I've just had a pensioner moment. Come here. You'll know who it is. Hang on. Yes, yeah, mate. I only took three days to paint that. You only took three days? I You're did. such the artist, aren't you, John? Alright, so we had to Google the name because I keep thinking it's Mary McKellop and that's a blooming nun. Dor Good old Google. I know. Dorothea McKellar was the, the um, lady's You're name that wrote this poem. You're close. But do you know what I... No. I shush. I learnt something today. This, this um, verse of that poem is actually the second po second verse. I just thought the poem was that. Yeah, I just thought the poem was that, but that's actually the second verse. Yeah. There's like six or seven verses of this poem. There you go, bit of history for you. It's the Gunny Dar War Museum, or well, museum. It's only open on Saturdays, I believe, but have a go at this silo art. Even though it's not a silo, it's water tower. Just brilliant. I'm singing in the rain. I reckon that's the best one I've seen. It's beautiful, isn't it? The best one. 
It's Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War. Brilliant. Look at that. There. This one here is the Battle of Long Tan. What's it say? The Rosebourne Memorial. In memory of those who served and attended Rosebourne School. Just fantastic, John Hay. Oh, it, yeah. I have no words. So we got dinner from, can you see that? The Chip Inn. So we got uh, five fish bites, three potato scallops, a crab claw, crab stick. What else? And Chip. small chips. 17 bucks. It's pretty Beautiful. nice. Chip in at Gunnida. In Gunnida, we stayed at the CMCA RV park. It cost us $15 a night. It's run by the Caravan and Motorhome Club of Australia. So there's a dump point supply, there's no um, electricity, but they have potable water. Um, you just can't have it hooked to your caravan. You have custodians at the front gate who are usually members of the association, the club. So dump point over there, garbage bins. There's a shed down the back here with a barbecue in it and of a night time, or about four o'clock, they have like a happy hour. There was a few people here last night but now it's just people over there and us left. Perfect stay. 15 bucks a night for non-members and I think it's seven dollars a night for members. Apparently these um, little parks are all over Australia. I believe there is a free, actual free camp in Gunnidar, but I've heard that it's really um, not well kept. So we thought 15 bucks a night, it's pretty good. It was quiet and yeah, very well kept. So do yourself a favour, when in Gunnida, stay at the CMCA RV park. So like we said before, undercovered area. Fire hose. Barbecue. Oh, they got a fire hose and an extinguisher. Oh, just emergency plans and stuff. All right, so we're just about to leave Gunnidar. Wasn't a great deal for us to do here, but we only stayed for one night. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm not going anyway. Uh, probably stayed longer yeah. if we were there more. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but we're on a time frame, so 
um, went to Pensioners Hill, went to the water silo and the the other one, silo, water silo, silo art, silo art. Um, and yeah, on our way to our next destination. Yep. So there's Gunnada. 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 Done and dusted. See you next week.